When's the last time you talked to Teresa? Has she reached out? Have you reached out to her? Any? No, no, no. Uh, it's been over five years. So the last time I saw Teresa was uh, formally was at the season five reunion. And shortly thereafter, my daughter was engaged and we ran into each other at a store with my daughter and she congratulated my daughter and it's been five and a half years. Yeah. yeah. I said before, I get no joy out of that. And I think that if there are people that get joy out of that, shame on you. There are four beautiful, beautiful babies that lives is forever changed because of that. And you can't discount or dismiss that. You know, you have to be cognizant of, of, of what you're saying and what you're thinking because of those children. There's no joy I get out of it. Um, so it did make me sad. It made me sad for, I remember, and I said it before, that ditzy girl that was fun to be around. And where is she? Where'd she go? You know, Joe shouldn't be in Italy. Joe belongs home with his girls. If the marriage is broken, the marriage is broken. That mean, that doesn't make them any less of a person. It means shit happens, you know? So um, I just feel badly for as far as my situation with her. Listen, I don't know what to say about that. It's crazy. But uh, take what you need to get through your day. What am I going to say? You know, I'm, I'm bigger than that. I'm better than that. And I'm, I'm not going to answer to that. You wanted my truth? I'd be in Italy. I, you know, but their marriage has suffered because of it. So I understand her decision. You know, it's sad for those children. It's very, very sad. Myself, I married rich or poor. You know, help, happiness, good, bad, and I love my husband. Unfortunately, that you know something happened between them. And again, no, no shame to them. It just happened. What are you gonna do? I don't. I don't blame either of them for it. I really don't. It's the circumstances of their life. But I just hope that those children are able to have a strong relationship with their father because he's a great dad. Thank you. I uh, pretty much plant-based diet for the past year. January I started, last January. And uh, I, fruits, vegetables, beans. I don't eat pasta anymore. I don't eat bread anymore. I don't eat meat anymore. I don't eat fish. I don't eat chicken, nothing. Fruits and vegetables. I know, but it's worth it. It's worth it. I feel really good, and, and I've dropped nearly 30 pounds and, uh, in 10 months, whatever. So, uh, and I walk. I walk about eight to 10 miles a day. That's, oh, that's a lot. Yeah, but it's good. You yeah. know, I walk outside. I walk in the house. It keeps me going. It's you know, keeps me young. Whatever. My granddaughter. I just was sitting with her one day, and I gained so much weight after after um, Manzode was done, and. Um, I was with her, what is happening here? I was with her one day just sitting around and I said, you know, I love her so much and I have to be around long enough for her to remember and know how much I loved her. I don't want her to ever forget me. So I said, I need to lose this weight and change the way I live my life and I did it for her, you know, for me, for her. I don't know. I don't know. I will never say never. You know, it's not on my radar right now. I've always, this conversation's happening all the time. Um, I, I don't know. Just the same way I woke up one day and I was a housewife of New Jersey. Who knows? It may happen again. It may not. I don't know. It will be a decision that I'll make on my terms um, because I'm at that point in my life. I'm 58 years old and I live my life for me now. And it's a very nice feeling, you know. And uh, it's got to work for me. It's got to work in my brain and mostly in my heart and mind. It's got to. It's got to be right. No, I'm not. I'm. I'm never shocked at that. You know, people like to talk about stuff, right? So you need somebody that's going to promote conversation. You need something that's going to be that it factor in a positive, negative, crazy, whatever way it is, you need to have that conversation happen. And she has a facet of her personality that allows that to happen. She'll text me and say, oh my God, oh my God, these bitches. And I'm like, Dolores, you signed up, you signed that on that line. Walk that walk, walk your truth, speak your truth. I know Dolores 30 years. And she's a wonderful person. And I just guide her to try and tell her, don't get caught up in it. Don't get, you know, be you, Dolores, be you. There's a lot more of Dolores that we haven't seen. I want it to come out. I, I want the, the real Dolores, the feisty Dolores to come out. She's in there. And I keep saying, come on, Dave, be you. Come on, be you. 
I don't. I, I don't think so. I think it's a closed door for her. Um, and I'm, I'm, I could be speaking out of turn, but she lives in, in Las Vegas now. So, um, and that's, people say, oh, well, why did she go to Vegas? Well, she's originally from Las Vegas. Her whole family is there. So she was here 18 or 19 years, and it was very difficult for her to leave. She cried her heart out. And then when she came back a few months ago, um, she came to my house, and she went back to her old house again. She cried her heart out again. So uh, she's got a lot of wonderful memories here, but she needs to go back to her family and let them get to know Nicholas and CJ the way we do. You know, it's their turn. My God, too many, too many. We had the best, best, best times. We really did. And the bad times that were there, too, and the embarrassing times, that's all part of the equation that was Housewives and Bravo. So I, I regret none of it. Um, I celebrate most of it because for, for me to be able to do it with my husband and my kids, who's better than me? Who's luckier than me? I, I don't think that I could have done it without them. So there are too many memories, too many moments of heartache, laughter, tears, etc. But it, it, it created a wonderful time in my life that I will treasure always and always be grateful, eternally grateful. Yeah.